Hey everybody, this is Phil with AuthorsInsiderClub.com and in today's quick video and blog post, I'm going to be showing you how to do internal linking in your Kindle book. Now, one of our customers, her name is Ann, asked me this question today. She actually came up with a great question and I know that many other people would want to do the same thing. So I decided to actually make a video to show her and everyone else how to make this happen. So again, the question is, and what I'll be showing you how to do is how to link internally throughout your book. You know, our Kindle template automatically will do a linkable and clickable table of contents, but let's say, you know, you're in chapter two and you want to link to something on a different page within your own book. How do you do that? So let's show you right now. So in this example, I have a blank chapter here where I just put in a couple sentences and let's say you want to link to this right here. And this could be one word, it could be a sentence, a paragraph, it could be an image in your book, anything. You can link to anything anywhere inside your Kindle book using our template. So step one is figuring out what you want to link to. And let's say we want to link to this line right here where it says this is where the link should bring me. So step one is to highlight what you want to link to. And then you want to click on insert and then bookmark. Now I'm using uh, Microsoft Word for Mac. It'll look a tiny bit different on the PC, but it's still the exact same command, insert bookmark. Now, what you need to do is you need to give this bookmark a name. And you're gonna wanna remember the name because you're gonna use that in the next step. And you don't wanna use spaces or anything like that. So for this example, what I'm gonna do is call this link one. So I'm just going to type in link one and then click add. So now I've set this as a bookmark right here and it's called link one. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to somewhere else in my book here. Let's go up to somewhere in chapter one. And I made a line that says click here to see my example. So what I could do is make just the word here be a hyperlink or this whole sentence, this whole line. I'll go ahead and make the whole line a hyperlink, but it doesn't matter. You could do either way. So you want to highlight that and then to link it to the bookmark we just created, you want to click on insert and then hyperlink. So in this one, it's hyperlink. Now what you're going to do is this is going to look a little bit different if you're on the PC version, but again, everything, it's the exact same steps so the screen will just look a little bit different. But what you want to do right here is, you want to set the anchor and the anchor is the bookmark that we just created. Also, you want to make sure if you have tabs like this, you want to make sure that the document is selected. It might default to web page first. So make sure you click on document right here because we're linking within our own document, not to something on the internet. Okay. So once we do that, all we have to do is type in right here, the name of our bookmark. That's why you need to remember or write down whatever you called that bookmark. So we called it link one. So I'm just going to type in link one and then click OK. And that's it. So now this is a hyperlink. So watch what happens when I click on this link. Boom, it takes us right to that line that we link to that's in a different chapter and on a completely different page. So that is how you can do internal linking throughout your Kindle book. Again, you just figure out what you want to link to and then highlight that and create a bookmark. And then when you're linking to it, where, whatever you're linking from, you just highlight that and insert a hyperlink to that bookmark. And that will allow you to link internally throughout your Kindle book. And then your reader, if they want to, if they want to go back to where they were after they visit that hyperlink, they can just click the back button on their Kindle and it takes them right back to where they were before they jumped to your link. So it's really quick and easy. So hopefully that helps. If anybody has questions or ideas for more videos or tutorials, just let me know and I'll be happy to do some of those for you. Take care.